What's up guys, Tom Meech here, and welcome back to another Kong School Island discussion video. Today I'm going to be talking about a few spoilers we got a few days ago, and this comes from Real News Hawaii, a very reliable source in my opinion. The guy that runs the account does live in Hawaii and has been on set for multiple movies including Jurassic World and of course Kong School Island. And he basically gave a few spoilers on Twitter, so if you guys haven't followed him yet, feel free to do so. I'll leave his Twitter in the description below, so check that out if you haven't. So the first spoiler, which is pretty big and pretty disappointing, and he basically said, I've heard there's no dinosaurs either, but he's looking forward to some Skull Island monster battles. Now my thoughts on this is dinosaurs are going to be replaced with monsters like they are in Godzilla, so it's not going to be like the King Kong 2005 version where we had evolved versions of past dinosaurs such as the T-Rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor, Brachiosaurus, the list goes on. But as disappointing as that sounds, you guys have to remember that they are getting replaced with monsters. So this means bigger, stronger, more powerful, and scarier creatures on the island. So that's going to be very cool to see what happens there and who Kong is going to fight. And that's a great segue into the next spoiler. And that is the fact that Kong will be fighting a river monster which is very exciting to hear. He seems to be pretty set in stone about this, judging by his tweet and just the way he worded it. He's saying that he assumes it's the Leviathan that's on the map. Now, it probably is the Leviathan and not the Mosasaur, sadly. It's always possible that the river monster that we saw on the map could be the Mosasaur, but it's most likely not going to be a Mosasaur. The real question is, is Kong going to be fighting creatures other than this river monster? To that, I answer yes. I do believe he will be in multiple different fights. That would be the most plausible answer, and it definitely would be the best move for the franchise and just for the movie in general. Now, apparently, a guy by the name of Brandon Davis, he was able to see a screening of Kong Skull Island, and he basically said that it may be the best movie of 2017. Now, that is very exciting to hear. I've been banking on Kong Skull Island being a great movie and possibly the best movie of 2017. I'm sure once Star Wars comes out, a lot of different people's opinions will change since a lot of people seem to like the Star Wars series. And he does stay here that there is a villain in this movie, but he or she is a bit weak. Now, we don't really know who that villain is yet since we've only gotten one trailer and hasn't really revealed too much about the characters. I can kind of assume that the old man in the helicopter that we saw is kind of going to be the villain, just like how Vic Hoskins was and kind of like how John Hammond was in Jurassic Park, so... I don't know what it is with movies and old people, but old people always seem to end up being the main antagonist, especially in movies like this. And he also stated that there are no references to Godzilla in the entire film, but he also stated right after that that it's always possible that they could add something in or just add some type of symbolization of Godzilla in the movie before the movie is actually released because we do have quite a bit of time before the movie is actually going to be released and everything is finished and done. So yeah, these are big spoilers for Kong School Island. I do suggest following Real News Hawaii on Twitter, but if you guys are new to the channel and you guys do enjoy Kong School Island and all the news and spoilers we have here, please subscribe and as always guys, leave a like and have a nice day.